more and more dredge. I love this game. This is this is just awesome, guys. This might be one of the very few games that I truly want to 100%, 100%. You know what I mean? Like recently we played, you know, Harry Potter and um, or well, you know, Hogwarts Legacy and a bunch of other games. Uh, that have a lot of cool collectibles, and I want to do those, and I run out of time oftentimes, but this game just does it in a way where I just feel like it's, um, I don't know, fun to not get the goal done. And In other words, it's RNG <clears throat> for some of the fish that you have to catch, and, uh, you know, in order to fill up, I think, 64 pages of the book, to which there's two fish on every page, it would take quite some time. And uh, it's time I like putting in. But welcome back to Dredge, everybody. We're near the end of this game, I think, anyway. So we're just going to keep on trucking today and maybe tomorrow if we don't beat it. Uh, but now I'm going to drag my feet a little bit towards what I fear to be the end goal. However, there's still more uh, things to discover, including some more of those weird uh, hooded boys. Those uh, cloaked uh, somethings. I, I don't know what you call them, like monks or something? They're, they're weird weird weirdos <laughs> the guy, like for example the guy in the blue cloak uh, that we found and then the guy with the yellow cloak who gave us the book so more dredge indeed yep this is a really 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 good game really good uh, it's awesome to actually see a fishing game that's been turned into kind of like a survival game but like a you know it's got the typical business stuff in it where you're unlocking stuff but the, the story is just so intriguing it's great it's the best of both worlds it's really cool and uh, I like that we're you know, upgrading a boat and stuff. Vehicle games. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, that the vehicle games are very, very fascinating when you get something that you get to upgrade and travel around. Whether it be a city <clears throat> that flies, like in Airborne Kingdom, or a boat here in Dredge. Dredge has been out on Steam for the last couple of days, and we're towards the end of it. So if you've missed any of the previous episodes, make sure you go back. We're entering the end game now. So it should be good. So welcome back. One's in the chat for the number one community out there. Once in the chat, if you've smashed that like button already, leave those likes at the door. Once in the chat, if you have your notification bell turned on. One in the chat, if you want to give away today. One in the chat, if you're a member. One in the chat, if you want to be a member. Let's go. Let's get back into some more dredge. As always, I'll be playing with an Xbox controller, but the mouse, uh, the mouse and keyboard is totally fine, too. And uh, you can play with either. This game is also optimized for um, consoles, so... Alright, <clears throat> so here at the Ancient Temple we have three trials to uh, get started on in order to do whatever we're supposed to do here. And I want to take a look at the map and see where else there are more places to travel. I don't think we went to the little islands up to the northwest, so maybe we should go over there and, and travel around. It's nighttime though, so... Let's, uh, let's dock for the night. And we'll go over there and see what's on those new islands. Sphere Flying Cities is 67% uh, off. Oh, really? You're not April Fool of me, are you? Ah, Terra Nil, another good one. I like that one a lot, too. Terra Nil was a big favorite as well. I would, I would put Terra Nil and Dredge on, like, the same page of, like, both being favorites. Although, Terra Nil, I think, takes maybe like eight hours to complete, you know, for the 100%, but you can play it a couple of times. Ah, oh, here's the guy in red. I knew it. Wow, found him, like, first try. All right, before we talk to him, let's look around a little bit. So there was a guy in, in blue, a guy in yellow, and a, a guy in red. I feel like there's got to be more. I feel like there's one per island. So we found the guy near Stellar Basin. We found the guy... Oh, maybe there's five of them. We found the guy near the Morrows. We find the guy. We found the guy who was closer towards Gale Cliffs, but he had quests for us in Stellar Basin. There's also a few islands south of uh, Devil's Spine as well. Near the S in Devil's Spine. Once we uh, talk to that guy, though, it kind of starts the countdown of, like, trying to get him food before he dies. You gotta be quick on those quests. And I might not know where to find all of them yet, so we're just going to explore a little bit, see if there's any shipwrecks. Yo, Josh, thank you very much for the Little Raptor membership. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. There's a, is that a structure there? 
Yeah, it's like a little castle or something. Uh, we can't stop at it, though, I think. Yeah, green eyes in the chat, show him some love. Yeah, I don't think we can stop here, but we can talk to the guy. Oh, come on. I, like, barely tapped it. You approach a hooded figure. They're standing uh, expectantly. Vermilion ro red robes blowing in the wind. Fishermen, serve. The voice from the hood cuts through the humid air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces old paper scrolls. They want a cusk eel. Volcanic, either via net or hook. Oh, well, there you go, sir. Done. The figure draws a ceremonial knife from their robe and slices into the fish, cutting out the heart. They place it on a stand in front of them. Bring down the sky. Another shape on the scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. We don't have that yet. Don't know where we could find him. Here. What's up, Jay? Welcome aboard, dude. Of course, we could just randomly catch one. Uh, let's go sell it to that lady. The fish here are quite large. Wait, do I have the. I think I. Oh, yeah, I have the volcanic. Dri uh, I have the volcanic net going. Oh, what's this? Faced skate. Spinal cord just sticking out of it. Great. Oh, there's a message in a bottle here. that in a little bit. Can we catch sharks? Uh, I thought we could catch a hammerhead, it looked like, at one point. Alright, time for some endgame upgrades. Let's get this one. This will add more cargo space to the hold. It also adds rods. Nice. Boom. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Oh, never mind. Still fine. Uh, we now want more cloth and more metal. Done. Yeah, we need lots more metal.
All right, ma'am. Oh, we also have to find the uh, fish sacrifice here, too. There's got to be some island that has a uh, sacrifice. I guess we could stay out a little bit. I don't necessarily want to sell the... Um, I don't necessarily want to sell those fish yet, just in case that other guy wants it. I don't think he'll want these ones, though. I'd, he typically doesn't take the corrupted ones. But he might want one of these pale skates or maybe a snake mackerel, so we'll save one of each. And he won't want this. We just gave him one of those. Alright, so we got a few things to find. Gotta find a sacrificial thing. What does this do? Nothing. Gotta be around the back side of the island. Let's check the encyclopedia. Well, we haven't found one yet, so it probably won't tell us more about it. Maybe. Uh, twit devil spine. Oh, maybe it will tell us a little bit. Ooh, lots of... Oh, yeah, we gotta drop our crab pods, too. Oh, these aren't... These are actually captured by... Rod. No, pot. Yeah, it looks like a swordfish, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we gotta read that message in a bottle. My darling, I found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I, I almost I feel almost whole again. There's just one more thing left to do. Throw me back. Oh, you think it's an oceanic ship? Or fish? Hmm. We'll take a look. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Boom. Uh, let's see. Rod and Trowel will pick that up, but it's only around the day in the morrows. Oh, we gotta go to the morrows then. Okay. Do we have a rod on that can do that? No. So we need oceanic tra um hmm. Let's get... Wait, let's see if we can get a better uh, fishing net. I mean, uh, fishing rod. Oh, we only have two upgrade points. Damn, we need five. That one would be amazing. Well, we'll go with the net then. Or do I have an oceanic fishing rod? Versatile rod. Wait, do I have two of those? Ninety-four percent. Huh? Did I did I buy one twice? Mm. 
I must have. Alright, let's get rid of these two small ones. Get rid of this one. We need the oceanic net, which is this one. Here. That's the heavy duty troll net. I think that's the big one. What is the small winch on the right catch? Oh, this one? Uh, abyssal, paddle, and oceanic. But that's a, that's a fishing rod. We can go with a whole net here instead. I think the net might be a little. better, but we could do both. Let's do both, just in case. Okay, we'll install this one. Drop that pod. Wow, well, it's already in the morning, jeez. Drop that here for now. Okay, so now we gotta go find the sail fin somewhere near the uh, Maros. Let's see. Damn it. I didn't install the industrial one. Well, let's go find anyway. I'll have to switch back to the volcanic one anyway. I think it'll be pretty easy to find and just fish out. We gotta go to these islands over there too. Oh, what is that? A water tower? It's another weirdo island. We'll go there, we haven't gone there yet. I also wanna get our engines like changed out, a few few extra upgrades towards the end. Okay, it's not on this side, so we have to go... I think we'll go east and then west. Unless it could be through here. Nah, it's oceanic. That'd be shallow. Dolphins! Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, we found it. Do we need to go north? East-ish a little bit. There we go. Wait, actually, wasn't this guy at these weird islands? Oh, they were to the west. Okay. Alright, we're good. Yeah, the daytime's a little creepy over by the uh, volcano. 
look a little like red red skies but the um I think the creepiest area, like the darkest area, felt like the swamps was the mangroves of Twisted, uh, what is it called? Twisted, uh, Twisted Sister. How long till you find Cthulhu in a crab pot? Depends on the bait. Speaking of which, I gotta throw those chum buckets over the, over the edge. We haven't used those yet. I'm gonna try one of those when we get back. We'll try around that, uh, the volcanic area and see if they're worth it. They take a little bit to make, so hopefully they... I wonder if the chum buckets, if you put them next to like a source that has low... Like if this said that it had a low number of fish, I wonder if we threw a chum bucket in there, if it would like increase the number of fish there. Sheepdog45, thank you very much for the five bomb for chat. Five gifted memberships for all you fine folks. Throw some gift bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. Thank you very much. And enjoy all your new emotes, everybody. Cool. This man needs to clip his nails. Look at those. Look at those nails. Clip those nails. Ceremoni Ceremonial knife comes out again. When the large heart is extracted, it's placed in the stand beside the first. Oh, this guy's doing weird stuff. Not just eating them, which is weird too, but... Raise the deep. The figure points to a shape on the last scroll, this one of a frilled shark. Oh, we know where that is. So that's over here. Need to change out again, though. Ooh, an armored cerebrid? Cerub That's new. An ossified cerebrid. Great. Yeah, it's like Deadliest Catch Sim, but with like a story, yeah. Oh, and the crab pot already got something in it. A spider crab. And a squat lobster. Yeah, a sea robin. Oh, look like at the bird. Yeah, these waters are, like, somewhat shallow and also volcanic. Do you wonder how many hooded peats there are? I feel like there's one in each section of the map. We found three so far. And I think there's a couple more out there. All right, ma'am. I'm ready to sell some things to you. And I need to switch out some equipment. I did goof a little bit. Although... This is helping us to find new stuff. I think this fish that we're looking for is a volcanic fish, right? Indeed he is. One caught. Frilled shark. Keep up the great content. Thanks, Dave. We'll keep this net for now. How about, how about? Wait. I have a second one of these. Wait, did the game glitch and like duplicate all of my equipment? Earlier it gave me two versatile rods and now I have two fathom, fathomless winches. I didn't buy two of those by mistake. Unless I got one free for a quest? How do I have two... Is that... Is that a glitch, Chad? A duplication glitch? Because I have two of these winches, but I would have... 
There's no way I accidentally bought two of them. That's weird. Well, let's sell the other one then. I guess free money? You may have gotten extra as a reward. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the setup I want now is like one trawling net, one rod, and then like the, the dredge, which is kind of mm. not anything you can upgrade. Hard to fathom that, yeah. <laughs> That is pretty hard to fathom, chat. Whatever. Alright, let's reinstall this one. Now we can fish for volcanic. And we'll keep this installed for now. Okay, let's repair. Oh, we can buy mixed bait from her. I want to see how the mixed bait works. We'll have to see. Oh, there's also more explosives that we might need. Let's carry one of these on us. And probably get some rest soon. Mm. Alright, let's go uh, fish for that frilled shark. Hey Seth, welcome aboard. Plan for the future complete. Alright, what does that give us? 15% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching with a rod. is kind of choppy over here now. Cool. They drag the shark's body around to find the right angle before plunging the knife in and pulling out the heart. They place it on the stand beside the others. Without looking at you, they take a book from inside their robe and throw it at the sand at your feet. The figure kneels before the fish hearts and becomes still. You leave before they decide they need any more hearts. Another book. Just in time, too. Nautical Engineering. Weird. Alright, well that quest was completed successfully, too. So, we found one at the Morrow's Devil's Spine and Stellar Basin. So only Gale Cliffs and Twisted Strand have one remaining, if they are there. I'm not even sure. I kind of want to go to those set of islands to the south now. So let's go over that way.
so orange over here. Yeah, the water looks really cool, doesn't it? And you can see the splashes of the rain when it rains on the ocean. Maybe there'll be another guy over here. Makeshift dock with a campsite. Small structure sits on the island. Nearby is an abandoned campfire. What do you want to do? Examine the structure. An old stone structure is built around a statue. The statue has its arms raised towards a lighthouse at Devil's Spine. Whether it gestures for in fear or praise, you cannot tell. Check the campfire. The campfire itself is unremarkable, but you wonder who could have chosen an island with such as this to make camp. Nearby you spot a piece of flapping, a paper flapping in a bush, a note is written on it. You put it in your pocket to read later. What do you want to do? Leave? Close now. Nobody knows. Does he, does he know? Uh, desecrated temple, forgive me. This is the only way he might understand. Must help him. Must stop him. What the hell? Weirdos. Hey, more cloth. We need the... Oh. Just treasure. Oh, coin. There's cloth. All depleted. Where's that dock? Ooh. So foggy. All right, we'll stay here till morning. Serpentine mackerel. We'll count one of those now. All right. <sighs> Time for repair. You just started to play change? Oh, yeah. Kind of like Hobo Tough Life a little bit. It's a good one. Cool. Alright, let's check and see what's here. Whoa! What the hell? 
A volcano snail and a squat lobster. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Welcome aboard. Any more research parts? Damn. Aren't there other ships around? Oh, they try to make you think there's other ships around. They sure try to trick you. on the map, but well, we could start with those quests now. I didn't sell the uh, what was in the net. seen any ghost ships? Kind of. I guess you could call that. Oh wait, let's do upgrades. Okay, so we only need for the final upgrades. Okay, so we need one metal, four metal, so we need five metal, six, seven metal, and one wood. I don't know where we're going to find all that stuff. Seven metal and one wood? Well, actually, I've noticed when we go back to some of the other biome stuff returns. Like the Maros. one of the rare fish. That's one of the fish we need for that lady. But we need a Bissell um, fishing rod for that. Okay. Looks like a maze we need to get through. Oh, is that another explosive? Okay. We could go through that little archway there. Hold on, there's... Is that debris? Oh, I think there's a research part. I'll take that. No, it's not. Stone tablet. Ancient stone tablet bearing a strange glyph. Maybe the trader at Little Morrow knows something about this. Oh, what? Now, might be used to get into the lighthouse. 
Okay, so the trader might know something. Oh. Those fish only get sent off if you go directly next to them. And then they alert one of the other large fishes, but we haven't seen them in a while. Alright, let's buy some more explosives then. So those little fish aren't really dangerous, it's the big one. Mm. Oh, she only like sells one at a time. Ahoy, James. Yeah, I'll check that later. Now let's try to blow through some of these uh, thingies here and not set off the fish. Because then we can stay here a long time. I wonder if I Yeah, we're going to have to be here for a while, so... Then we'll leave and come back. Is that other big fish is on patrol? And I don't want to get that one's attention. remember if we needed cloth, do we? Well, we might we might need this for something in the future. Maybe not the boat, but maybe someone wants a house or something. You know, again. Well, this might be another glyph for the trader. I might be able to get rid of them with the banish thing, but... Okay.
Yeah, we just need wood and metal now. Wood and metal. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. Wait. Ma'am, did you have one of those? Mm. Seems like every day she gets like a new, takes her time to make the packed explosives, so like you can only buy one a day. that. Let's go this way. Oh, there we go. A stone shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two uh, heavily Plated creatures locked in battle. Uh, a lower slab holds two giant roofs. Oh. Yeah, alright, so we found those two crabs before. Gotta wait until the uh, crab pod brings up some of those. I don't want any more money. I want parts. <laughs> Literally right here. Rock splits with an almighty crack. The it crumbles away, revealing its core. Oh, it was full of free stuff. Oh, including the flat. Ha! One of the items we needed: the fathomless flame, and a research part, and more wood. Put that in storage. Yeah, the whaler has more, but I don't want to drive all that way. It would take more than a day to drive there. Oh, you can gift memberships on phone now? Yeah, Android, I think, yeah. For those who want to drop a gifted membership, it's available on mobile now. Not everywhere, but technically it's available. Um, oh yeah, the upgrade. We just need one more metal. Actually, I could just take metal from one of these other upgrades, right? No.
And Levi with the five bomb for chat. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much. Give bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. All right. So now we just need metal. But I'm going to hold on to other parts just in case there's something else we can build with it in the future. Okay, so we got one of them done. Now we got to go to the other little island. And that fish is chasing us a long way. Fish, the big fish. I guess when you set it off, it comes running. Where was that opening? Looks like Quebec. No. Yeah, Quebec 14. We'll come back here. Need to get away from these clowns. Oh yeah, use the banish, yeah. I don't know if that would work on that type, but we'll try it tomorrow morning. But you're right, we should we should give it a shot. The vents hurt them? Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. Didn't the tip say that? When we went to that other island, didn't they say something about the... Stay away from them, but the vents will hurt them? You guys might be right. Yep. I forgot all about the lore. Oh. Okay, how many research points do we have? Three, I think. Yep. We need five. I want to get five to get that big old fish and pull. Oh, let's sleep, actually, so we can see what we're doing. Yep, you're right. The vents will hurt them. Hello, Fumble Zone. So they're going to attack no matter what. Yep. Mm. 
Magma. Scared him away. Good job, chat. Good memory. Ooh, golden ring. Ruby ring. Elden ring. So this seems to be the same deal, these things. They want us to first get here, then capture like two fish. That go in there. So that's that... What's it called? A pale fish? And then that one... So we need a... The pale skate, and then whatever that thing is, which is... An abyssal fish. So we're gonna need to change to... So the pale skate can be found from fishing. Ah, uh, so we need we need two different rods for this one. Oh, no, no, no. We can find the pale skate from trawling. All right, so we got to find the, change our trawl net. I think. Yeah. All right, so we got to change bolts of volcanic. I think. I guess blowing open those paths just makes it a little easier to drive through. You boys can chase me all you want. Let's go. Boop. Is there an abyssal? Oh, nautical engineering complete. Is there an abyssal trawling net? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it only goes to ocean. So wait, we just unlocked something new. The engineering one. Equipment types that use durability lose it 15% slower. Oh, damn. So that means our uh, fishing nets can stay out longer. Like the crab pod. Which where's the crab pot? On the boat? Mm. Yep. Alright, a couple of orders of business then. Let's put this out first. So that way as time passes from the repair we can get something. Looks like there's plenty of crabs there. So we want volcanic. game won't let me put it in. Alright, we gotta move some things around. I have, to, I have to install the one I don't want to get access to the one I do want. By moving some things to cargo. Um, I think the mixed bait is for fishing, not for crabs. I think. I still have yet to use that, so we could... Let's use it this time on the two new ones we have to catch. Okay, that fits. We're gonna have to go back to the collector soon. 
I need to keep this, I think, for now. Hmm. You watched a fish one, a film once where a chum was used and a big fish appeared. Oh, well, I wonder what that was called. Sounds like a good uh, fishing help guide. All right, so I think we've got all the the rods and the nets that we need. And then we need the uh, pale skate and the other fish. So we know where the pale skate is. Wait, does the other one come out at night? Day and night. Pale skate's only daytime, though. But we got to find that other one. Oh, wait. That one's abyssal. So now, we change that out too. And now we gotta find that one too. Coming like a sliding puzzle. I hate it. All right, storage is completely full. So yeah, the mix bait probably won't work for. Well, maybe it does work for trawling. I don't know. We'll have to try that. Let's we'll see how it works. All right, so let's start trawling. Now the pale skate is over here, right? Let's use that chum. spawns a fish type oh okay so if you use the, the the bait it basically just creates a spawn point for a random fish of that type in that area that's cool I like that that's cool all right so now we got this one first try and now, we can maybe randomly find the other one. Or let's try the bait again. Because we can just buy it. Oh, nope. Got the pale skate. Alright, all done. Well, that was easy. Okay, so now we just drive back and plop that in.
Nice, that was really nice. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Oh, free stuff. Too much free stuff. Uh, I think we're going to have to start selling this stuff to the lady. Because we can't use the uh, refined metal anymore. But I can use those repair parts for damn sure. Yeah, I'm debating between whether I want to upgrade the last engine or if I want the last rod. I feel like moving faster is just better. But I'm going to go back to the collector anyway because I want to know what that part is and I need to... Sell a bunch of stuff. Who are you? Oh, that guy. Oh, he's right there. It's all good. It worked out. Alright, let's go back home and uh, finish some upgrades and stuff. Yeah, the bigger engines are a good idea. I can sell these for 110 each, and if I end up needing them, I'll just eat the cost. It's fine. I'd rather have the storage space at this point. Anything else, ma'am, that we can sell? Uh, I kind of want the rest of it. I'll take that chum on board, though. Oh, actually... No, that'll only cost money. Hey, what's up, Grim? Things are good for me. Alright, let's go back to the HQ. Back to start. And then we'll go uh, trade. Let's go trade. And there's like oceanic types. Now that we have the oceanic net, there's like certain types of oceanic nets that are only available or fish that like, there's oceanic fish everywhere, but there's, like, fish that are only found in certain spots of that type. So it's, like, you have A through... S what is it? D? Or E? Because there's five locations. And then you have, like, the new unlock type, which is, like, type 4. In other words, we have a new net with old locations to go back to, to where we can find new fish, because we haven't been able to fish there before. Welcome. Found anything special lately? Yes, we did. Is there a way we could talk to you about it? Maybe the trader at Little Morrow knows something about this. How do I give it to you? Maybe I have to have it in the cargo. Mm. 
Ah, oh, what can I do for you today? Show him the stone tablet. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Hmm. Remarkable. Yes, I do. I believe believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. Uh, he reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar-looking stone, albeit one covered with much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired this other piece. You found this near the ruins in the Devil's Spine, didn't you? Yes. No. Oh. Well, I suspect there'll be more out there. I'll hold on to this for now and study it further while you search for other fragments. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me to appraise? Yep. Those, that. Ah, we need one more upgrade part. I, I kind of want that, but what, what does the engine cost us? Oh, the engine... Twin engine... Oh. No, th see, this is a problem. I can't get that one without getting the twin jet engine first. That is a 52 kilometer. What's our boat status right now? We can do 75. But I need more engine upgrades. I think we have to get the last engine upgrade for that. So. Let's see what else we might have. Well, that's interesting. On the right side, the sell all trinkets is X'd out, but I can still sell the... Oh, that's... Okay. That should be automatic that it selects that. Those were trinkets I could sell, but it didn't recognize that. Maybe it only sells what's in your cargo. Strange. So I wonder if there's two different endings here. We're gathering these flames. If we light them, maybe that lights the lighthouse? Or the other way is to destroy the lighthouse. Hmm. Yeah, there's some really cool side stories. Yeah, I love how a lot of these side stories in this game only are little... They always seem so short. But it's good. So... Let's go. Glad I checked the engine upgrade first. Yeah, well, we need more research points for a lot of stuff. Might not be able to unlock it all at the same time. So we'll see. Uh, we have to go back up to Devil's Spine to get there. But I also want to look around for salvage.
We have one more quest to do at Devil's Spine for the main story there, for, uh, as far as we know. What other pursuits do we have? Light the statues or find more tablets. Oh, see, this seems like two different endings. Maybe. Oh, it looks like there's one more quest to do, too. Find the watch in Devil's Spine. Well, that's the last for the main story stuff, too. Okay. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. That's probably related. Light the statues probably helps us to get the last relic for the collector. Meaning the weirdo guy. Not, not the collector in the shop, but the guy at Blackstone Island. drive around for a while just getting fish and then see if we can find any sort of salvage that may have reappeared. Oh, there's another one of those crazy zones. Yeah, there's an altar in the mangrove area we have to go back to. It requires, uh, like, a whole thing of corrupted fish. Oh, there we go. Exactly what we needed. cloth, but I don't need any more of that. What is that? Fish. Hey, let's talk to this lady. We haven't we haven't said hi to this lady in a long time. Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. Okay. I guess it's just a hangout spot now. Okay, so let's go to the dry dock. So, let's sell our fish, and let's get some upgrades. Let's get the hull upgrade. 
Six hundred dollars. My God. Love the streams. First time catching one. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for watching. All right, we're gonna do the engine upgrade next. That'll allow us to get that jet turbine engine or the bigger one. But we need metal for it first. Okay, what net do we have installed? Coastal or volcanic? Uh, we're going to hang around where there's not volcanic for a while. So let's go with the industrial ocean one. Heavy duty. Alright, we're going to hang around... Oceanic places looking for debris and stuff. And this one's coastal, shallow, and mangrove. And this one's abyssal, haddle, and oceanic. We need something for maybe shallow. Now, I think we have a lot of the shallow fish. Let's take a look at the book. Looks like we got quite a few. Oh yeah, Oceanic, there's quite a few more. Yep. I'm assuming Abyssal and a few others are not really needed. Heavy duty's good. And Oceanic and Abyssal are good. Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, we can go up to the islands up here again. Just looking for surface debris. I think the mangrove area would probably be the best. Oh, are these? Does this count as mangrove a little bit? Maybe we'll find mangrove fish here. Oh, there's some stuff. No. Oh, that's got to be a tr sunken treasure. So that's kind of like a mangrove island for Twisted Strand, just a little further from it. What do we got here? Razor mouth tuna. Big tuna. I don't know if we caught a regular tuna before. Unless this is the black fin one. Oh, yeah. We got tuna before, but not the black fin. I mean, the uh, mutated black fin.
this oh that's just alloy there at this point that's just free money that was a shark Yeah, yeah, you're just chilling back there. Okay, well, that, yeah, I mean, it might be needed for something. I've been selling some of it, but I don't, I don't mind selling a lot of it anyway. All right, time to make a sale. Wow, 275 bucks. That's good money. Uh, we need a little nap, though. You think we're going to need a bigger boat? <laughs> you might be right about that, especially against the shark. I think we should go looking for more debris over here. You know, I bet you, uh, what is it? The Gale? Gale, Gale Cliffs. That probably has more debris. Bronze Whaler. This is a trap, isn't it? A rotten mass lays down on the island, half hidden by the foliage. Oh, we've been here before. Oh, I didn't have space for the upgrade parts. Nice. Hey, alright. I forgot to come back here because I didn't have space, and now I do. Oh, this guy's dead. Uh, let's head back and see if we can do that upgrade now. Uh, that was worth it. Big kahuna on the tuna. Alright, so the next thing is to give the fishmonger our catch. Oh, look at that one. 104 bucks for that. Jeez. 150 bucks and we barely even left. That's crazy. Alright, small repairs. And an upgrade. Two new engine spaces. Hell yeah, brother. Beautiful. Bit of a cold, wet day here today. This looks like the perfect game to chill out with. Doesn't it look cold and wet here? Actually, it's cold and wet here, too, and where I am IRL. It, uh, it was a big snowstorm last night. Went from, like, just a little bit of snow on the ground to uh, the last day of March. March in Minnesota always has, like, one or two last minute snowfalls before the end of the year. Uh, like we can be in spring, but it's like, no, 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 no. You're not out of winter until like April, mid-April. 
crazy. Yo, know, thanks for all the likes, chat. Welcome to all the new members today. Thank you for all the support. Dredge is amazing, by the way. If, if you've enjoyed this playthrough so far and you're thinking about picking it up, I definitely think this is one that's just as fun to watch as it is to play. Not too challenging and, you know, you want to do things efficiently. On the other hand, go explore. Like, why? Why, why worry about, you know, wasting time like there's no rush? You do things however you like. Okay, so wait, we, we need a new engine and some repairs. So let's do repairs. And let's do dry dock. No, research. Now we gotta research some stuff. So we have four research. We could get the twin jet engine drive, but I don't think we can get that one. Right now we just have a twin prop, so this would be faster, plus other jets. And in order to get that one, we need this one too, the refined outboard. So it costs like two more as well. to move these jets around a little bit. You got to play it all the way to the last island. It's volcanic. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah, that's where we are now, too. So we could get two more jet engines or put in one of those old... Actually, before I install this... Oh, here, let's do this. What do we have in storage? Didn't I save an engine? A peculiar engine for 14.7. But we could stack two... Jet engines for nine, right? Hmm. What else you got? Improved outboard for fifteen. That's not that much better. Or we get that last research one, which looks like it's a I don't, I don't even know what to make of that. Yeah, well, we got all the money in the world. We'll do what we want. We'll just buy two more jets, I think. Or we can try to throw in this. The Peculiar. Does the orientation not matter? No, it just needs to be in the engine space. Maybe I'll buy two more jets. Because this in total is 14.7. But if I go to the shipwright, I can buy two for 9.5 and they stack. Oh, she only has one at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll sleep. Just watched Futurama and figured out why Raptor hates bears so much. They stole and ate his ice cream. Damn right. Holy hell, look at this boat. This boat could get you across the bay longer than it would take to walk to the end of the dock. 
Uh, yep. I want to trade a monocle. Got plenty of cloth. I don't even think I need that anymore. You think I can fit two big jet engines? I think we tried. I don't think I could do that. Because this takes up two, one, two. Would there be a way to fit that footprint in there? God, I think you're... Wait. No, because it would be missing here. I would need one here, I think. Because if I, f if I rotated this one, I could go... One, two, three, four, five. And then I could go one, two, three, four, five here. But unfortunately... Or, well, actually be down here. But I'd still need this one right here. Oh, well. All right, so we're still on the lookout for debris. And in the meantime, we'll make money. Good idea, though. Like, you know, good thinking to try to go with the Big O engine. We're all jet engine powered now. I think we're really going to want to go to the mangroves again. Also, I think there's something to it. Touching all of those black stones while crazy probably gives you something. Alright, let's go back to the mangrove. I want to find more debris. Oh, what's the blue flame in the storage? It's for a quest. We need one more of those. Oh, that's a that's a trap right here. Nice try, pal. Yeah, it represents how fire the stream is, yeah. Lit and dang. Mm. Oh, it's made a hundred bucks of zipping over here, that's awesome. Okay, we're just looking for debris. Have we run into any mutated sea bass with laser beams on their head? Well, mutated, yes. Sea bass, yes. Laser beams, not yet. So, two out of three? like debris.
Oh, are you ki- Bro. Did you see how slowly I bopped into that? You've got to be kidding me. Dude. Okay. Okay, game. Look, if you- You should really only take damage when you're going at certain speed. Really. So let's go, uh... Actually, we may have already touched that crazy stone here. Uh, there's a place to blow up at the starter island around the backside of the islands, but I don't remember where. Yes, you're right. We just saw that. And it gives us, uh... Alloy. Don't need it at the moment, but it is worth good money. Uh, there's supposed to be little rocks we're supposed to touch. Well, also here we're supposed to get corrupted fish, so I guess we could work on that now that we're here. Yeah, maybe we could work on that. Get the upgrade for Corrupted Fish. Because if we get the up upgrade for Corrupted Fish, then we can fill that out and get whatever that is. Then I forget which islands we've got the upgrades for. We got one for the main island, the starter island. I guess we just don't have mangrove and volcano done yet. Although it might not have one on every island yet. Maybe. Yeah, the boat has bumpers on it. The little uh, tires and stuff. Alright, let's go to the rickety pontoon. Get changed out and see if we can get some corrupted fish. What do we got in the net so far? Not a single corruption. Ah, oh, damn. You know what would be really good here would be uh, corrupted um, crabs. This is. I bet it's a trap. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, my God. <laughs> Funny every time. for crab pots would be going back to that other area. Uh, but that's back in the volcano islands. Well, we could just fast travel, I suppose, right? Not even fast travel, but like... We just go directly there. And we can start chumming it up. So, let's get some new stuff installed.
We're going to come back to the mangroves in a little bit. So we'll get the equipment installed for it. Here is so good. Does anyone in chat know who this Marx is dead guy is? What is that? No, I didn't think so. Bum, 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 bum. Who is this dude? This this guy. Dot dot dot. All right, chat, we're going to the uh, Devil's Spire. Go get back our big old crab pot. Speaking of Dot, Dot, with the 36 months, is this the very same Dot from Star Citizen who has been MIA? from the streams, but not MIA from our hearts and minds. Oh, it is, okay. What's up, Dot? Reclaimer is out. I haven't, I haven't taken a look yet at the Reclaimer. I wanted to do it maybe this weekend, but soon. Rick has a Reclaimer, and I want to, I want to, I want to go into Star Citizen again. New member. Welcome. I was bad-mouthing it a little bit. And then about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I reinstalled it. And I was like, you know what? This is actually running nicely. For now. It's a good game. Yeah, we'll need a crew for the Reclaimer. All right, well... I want to do some work. I want to see what that game makes us do. Wow, look at all that. Jeez. We don't even have a room. Oh, but... Oh, oh. Oh, but I can plow into that boat, and that's fine. Okay. S scuffed boat mechanics. pick this up. Nice food at the Star Citizen Mall. Dude, that's all I ever do is just walk around and just eat food and I complain about how the pr previous 400 times that I played stuff disappeared from my inventory. That's pretty much how it goes for me. Alright, ma'am. We're going to go and repair. Uh, the weird guy, the collector guy that gave you a few things for your boat, check out the warehouse near, there should be items there now. Um, the where, I think that's a DLC, I think you need the black, what is it, black stone island key, which is a DLC, you can pay five bucks to get a couple extra items for the game if you want them. I think it's a way to keep the base price of the game down, but, you know, it's an optional thing if you want it, I think. Alright, so we're going back to the rickety pontoon directly west. 
Have I got a full hot hotel set up for Star Citizen? I do. I haven't set it up in a while. And I rarely use it because usually I'm just busy being a crew member. <clears throat> last time we played, I think the thing we did the Well, last couple of things we did in Star Citizen that I really enjoyed was... It was when refueling came out. So we, we did a few rounds of like refueling with the... I forget what it's called. The Starfare or whatever. But then... I think the very last thing I did was uh, bounty hunting. And we got into some pursuing and actually like caught two people, which is big because everyone just knows the the weasel tactics to just go hide and camp out in an elevator for 25 hours and never leave never leave the grim hex. Cowards. Uh, what about the one stone sacrifice where you wanted the corrupted fish? Yeah, we're doing that right now. But that's why I went and grabbed the crab pot, because crabs are huge. And so they'll take up more space in that thing. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the net. Okay, so mm. now we want corrupted fish and we don't want to sell any. And it might be good for us to be out at night. We really just need to like drive around for a long time. Because we need the net to do work. Come on, give me a corrupted one. There we go. So the chum bucket basically just lets you create a fish spawn of a random fish. So it might be a good thing if you're looking for a specific fish. Rather than looking for that fish, you can just kind of get the game to spawn it, maybe. the eye up top mean? Uh, it means that we have a lack of sleep and so we hallucinate and stuff like that happens. That's fun. Okay. Yep. That's what that means. Yep. Perfect timing to ask that question. More random crap attacks you. So long as we put that fish in the um, sacrificial thing, though, before it rots, we'll be all right. Mm. What's up, Sarah? Happy Saturday fishing. Hell yeah, brother. 
Let's take a little nap, though. Horseshoe crab. We've not gotten that before. All right, let's go trawling while we go turn in some corrupted fish. You want tartar, tartar sauce on your sacrifice? Okay. There's got to be one in here. There we go, another corruption. The only one that was there. They kind of shine like that when they're corrupted. Let's drop these off before they go bad. We'll have more later. And we got to remember exactly where it is. somewhere. Maybe it was on that little island there? Where is that? This place is a maze. That sounded like we were close. It makes that sound when we're close to it. Is it on the inside? Oh, was it on my left? Oh, was it? Was it there? Okay. Wait, wait. We found something. Oh, I gotta be. Cr wait. First, we found the story slab. Hold on. Let's go crazy first. There we go. Oh, we're getting there. Now I'm gonna go touch that thing when it turns red. Then we'll do the fish. We gotta. We gotta get crazy. I think either enough time has to pass that our eye turns red, or we have to uh, touch one of those misty things. A nightwing cat with... oh, that's nice. Still green. Whoa, rude. Yeah, 
too late. It's now morning. I think it has to be night. Okay, let's go find this thing. Now I'm all sorts of turned around. That's the one we're supposed to touch, but that's not the one we want. salvage here. Oh, we do want... Do we want metal? I think we do. cloth. Don't need that. We're close to it, right, chat? I think it's on this island to our left. Oh, no, we're on the opposite side. <laughs> well, we had to leave a different way because that thing kind of popped out, so let's go back this way. All the places to get lost, this one's the easiest. Oh. Don't mind that, that's fine. Okay, we're close. Okay, that's the thing from before. So it's on Delta 13. One of them went bad, but that's okay. We gotta fill this whole damn thing up. The waves lap up the platform where you laid the aberration. As the water makes contact with it, buzzing sounds fill the air. The previously still water bubbles up and over. Oh, wow, you just had to put one in there? That's, oh, man, oh, I thought that was going to be way more complicated. Oh, man, I wish I would have done that earlier. Oh, I know if you go to the uh, twisted uh, strands, you just need to put one thing in there. I thought we had to be, I thought we had to go and, like, fill the entire thing up over a, a long amount of time. Now I feel scammed. Uh, let's see, mechanisms brutally bound to three gouging flaying hooks an odd godly fishing device need those collectibles though oh you can't just put it in storage oh you can okay ah oh, that was so dumb All right, as for the go crazy markers, I really don't know what to do about those. As in, like, activating all those gives you a story, but I don't really know if it's a Steam achievement or if you actually get an item for that. All right, let's go back to the lady and sell. What do we have for fish? So we just had to put one, just one corruption in there. That was, like, the easiest of all of them.
Unless it wanted that one specifically and you're just supposed to guess. And I just happened to guess. Well, that was easy. Alright. So there's got to be one more... Let's see. I wonder where the last... We found three so far, right? We got a crab pot, a fishing line, and an extra fishing rod. So... The real question is now, wow, 516 bucks. Money's not a problem. So the real question is, chat, like, where do we find the next one? Let's take a look at the map. So, we just finished the one at Trist Twisted Strand. That required just one corrupted fish. We finished the one at Stellar Basin. That required crabs. We finished the one at the Morrows, which required something, too. Gale Cliffs. I don't know if we did the Gale Cliffs one. Or where that one could be found. But my assumption would be it would be within the Gale Cliffs. Alright, let's go to the middle. We'll go back to the Gale Cliffs. Anything for the collector? Oh, we can throw this out. Whoa, we're tired. I think the Gale Cliffs was the crab pot. Oh, you may have been right. Maybe we did get that one there. Ooh, look at that. There's a mystical sunken ship there. But when you pull up, there's nothing. Fancy. Katsu, thanks for upgrading to a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for your ultimate level of support. Wow. Thank you very much. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys for all your support. And we can now upgrade the lights. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we can get an even better headset or headlight thing. No way. No way. There's a better light? Ah. Wait, we can just get... New member. Welcome. Hmm. It, uh, it allows one more light. That's kind of weird. Just that? Like a cloudy lens? That doesn't seem right. Huh. Maybe it just provides a backup light. Or you could do this. You could do... No, you couldn't even do that. Nah, I'd rather have the cargo space, honestly. But at least we have all the upgrades. That feels good. Maybe there's an unlock? I, I mean... Well, we got... every. The ship is apparently fully upgraded. Nothing else we can do. We upgraded everything. Unless her storage will refresh overnight. Let's sleep a little bit and see what happens. kind of weird though uh, there's got to be maybe that's one of the next items maybe there's a you know one of the next things sacrificial wise is that okay so twisted strand gave us a, a big fishing pole 
the Maros gave us like a little, a little f small fishing pole. Gale Cliffs gave us the crab pot. Stellar Basin, I don't think we found, and same with Devil's Spine. And we're also supposed to find those rare fish to which we. We gotta figure out where those rare fish are. We found one of the ore fish. And I forget where the other ones are. They're, they're kind of like hidden. Oh yeah, that's right. There's one like in the middle of those random islands. You missed the red fridge? That game? Maybe I'll play that this winter or something. Or before Halloween. Yo chat, thanks for all the likes. Appreciate all the support. Welcome to everybody watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And for watching Dredge, it's a good one. It's a fun, fun game so far. Good to have you here. Oh, the unlock fish is in Devil Spire. Okay, that's right. Let's go to the Stellar Basin and see if we can find that. But before we leave, maybe we could prepare to get fish there. So those were shallow fish, I think. Wait, what's the what's the next quest? Search for relics, that's a main quest. Search for tablet, oh, what's this? Oh yeah, this is the, this is like a long-term one for the traveling merchant. That one we could do like last. And there's one more quest we haven't found yet. Maybe one more hidden guy? Oh yeah, you're there. F figure in red. Figure in gold. figure in blue. Maybe there's one more figure? Any idea what the sign of ruin does? Um, I think... Uh, I'm not sure exactly. It's some sort of power for your boat. Something like that. Alright, let's get ready for Stellar Basin. Shallow and coastal. We're ready to rock, let's go. That is to our southwest. Hope they bring out more content. Fully enjoyed watching your playthrough. I agree. This game needs way more stuff now. It's very fun. Game of the year. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's research points.
Oh, did I leave my crab pot behind? I did. Oh well. We'll get it when we need it. Alright, so now we gotta go find the corruption thing. Go looking for it. It should be marked on the map. There's not too many islands here, so I wonder where it is. It'd be nice if there was a way to mark those uh, little sacrificial altars off. Not one we read. That one was a trap. It's got to be one of the outlying islands, then. There we go. This is one we never found before. This is new. Uh, a slab of rock cuts above the waves. There are four large, powerful... Oh, we did find this one. We just never got back to it. Four large, powerful uh, fish in the shapes carved in its face and four great fissures running through the rock's base. Wait... Four large, powerful ship of fish and four fissures. Is it a fish from each corner of the map? Fissures as in, like, the map is divided? Like, the biggest fish from Stellar Basin, the biggest one from Gale Cliffs, Devil Spine, and Twisted Strand? What are our thoughts on this one, chat? Four large, powerful fish. Now, typically it's from the actual area. Like, typically they don't make you leave that area. But the four fissures could also be the four major islands there of Stellar Basin. There's the North, South, East, and West Islands. Gotta be the four mini islands? Could be. So then we need the biggest fish from each of those islands. Chat's thinking sharks. So they have to fit into there perfectly. So they have to be four large sharks from the Stellar Basin. So that could be... It's gotta be the biggest of the fish, though. So let's do... Wait, uh... Stellar Basin. Maybe Oceanic. These are found in the Moros. Gale Cliffs, Moros. There we go. There's Stellar Basin there. Hammerhead. But they have to be found in Stellar Basin. 
But it doesn't just mean those. Actually, we only find like well, it could be it could be any of these. But let's look for the biggest. So maybe the devils right now can't be that because it's. Gotta be the big ones. So I'm thinking like ham hammerhead there. But like, do we find four of them? It also said fish, but I mean, four large powerful fish. I mean, shark's pretty damn powerful, so it's gotta be. All right, let's go back to HQ and retool for a. catching of some sharks. Wait a minute. Oh, this is where that one is. Alright, so when we go crazy at Stellar Basin, it's at the, uh, at the huts. You think it's the hammerhead, the ghost shark, the bronze whaler, and the black tip real sh reef shark? Wait, those aren't from this area, though. Are they? That one's from the Maros. Uh-oh. Oh, I was right. It's one from each. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess when we bring it to this um, altar, it, they ne they won't go bad if we put it in the altar. So there's no the only time we need to take is going back. So we need to find four sharks from over the map, all over the map. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's start here. So we need a hammerhead shark. So let's go find that. So that one needs a rod only. From the Stellar Basin, and it's oceanic. So we need to change out our rod. Also, do I have enough upgrade points for something new? No, damn, I really want that rod, though. Maybe we can get it eventually. Okay, so... Let's sell all the fish we got. And let's install the big old fathomless winch. Or, wait a minute. Wait. What about the new one? Ooh. This one works oceanic. Are all the sharks we need oceanic? Fishing speed 94, fishing speed 31. What the hell's the difference? Uh, the tendon rod doesn't seem to be as good. It's free, but it's fr it's also free key. Oh, it has a faster reeling. I don't know. I'll just go with this one. It has a unique shape to it, so maybe you can... I, don't know. I wish they would explain more of what that is. Like, why would you use something that's like that if it's worse? But it's probably better, right? It's gooder. Now it's green, so it's... I mean, my hoodie's yellow. The uh, thingy thinks it's green. I guess this is more for stacking. If you have your configurations right between certain rods, this probably would fit with another rod to do a pretty good combo. Because although this one only gives 31% on its own, this combined with like the... This 31... Plus this 6% could give a good combo. Maybe, like, you know, in conjunction with some other rod. Okay, 
And do we want to change this? We should do oceanic uh, large troll net too, because it could, it could get the sharks, right? I think that's how we got one of those bronze whalers before. So let's pop in the old heavy duty. And then we got chumming buckets too. That's good. All right, chat. You're in charge. No bears. Hey, we had an agreement, people. I had to go open a window. It's getting hot in here. And I got a package delivered that I had to go get. Do you guys remember when I did uh, Ravenbound? There was a video on Ravenbound a couple of days ago on the channel. Uh, they sent me something cool the other day. But yet I just got the message now on a Saturday that it was delivered. But it wasn't. It was delivered the day before. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go over to a neighbor's house to grab it where they dropped it off fun. Or rather, my neighbor said, hey, I'm dropping it here. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Where were we? Yeah, we're going, uh, we're going fishing, boys. So... I'm pretty sure all these fish could be caught any time of day. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so the next is the hammerhead. All right, or the first. Hammerhead's right there, boom. All right, we found him, let's go. Best civilization mobile game? I don't really think mobile games are actually games. I feel like they're all just kind of vehicles in which to deliver a scam. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's certainly some mobile games that are actually probably quite good. And that are like, you pay money, you get the game, and it's good. But I feel like most of them are just like... You know. Here at Corporation, we're excited for you to give us more of your money. Like, that's what that seems like. Alright, cool, we got a hammerhead shark. I got, again, not 100% of them... I would I would say not even like ninety percent of them are like that. There's probably t like ten, ten percent good 
mobile games out there that are, are enjoyable that probably do have microtransactions and such. Um, but I think they're rare. Okay, I gotta remember where that... I think it's over there to the east. I'm gonna go drop this off right away. Oh yeah, our boat is like turbo now. Turbo trawling. We're gonna go direct east. Yeah, so anyway, uh, going back to the Ravenbound thing, I'm gonna be opening that probably... Actually, no, I'm not, not, I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. Never mind. I'm trolling you. Tro I'm trolling chat, yeah. Infinity Blade was a good mobile game. Is that true, viewer? I think that should go there. We'll put the others in here soon. Okay. So that's done. Now what's the next nearest fish? Gale Cliffs? And which shark can we find from the Gale Cliffs? That's it right there. Whatever that is. Number 20. That's gotta be it. Wait. How do you catch number 20? Rod and trawl during the day. And oceanic. Or is there some from the Maros? Wait, there's one at the Moros, isn't there? Yeah, that one. The Bronze Whaler, or ooh. Is that a Great White? Let's go to the Moros. Actually, let's just teleport. Actually, let's not. We'll drive because there's a chance to catch something. Yeah, I think mobile games are fine, but companies don't see them as games. It's a it's a device. It's a it's a vehicle in which to deliver. It's a Trojan horse, basically. Hey, look at how fun this is! Give us money. And yeah, a lot of it is optional, but a lot of those games, it's like you're completely crippled to enjoy it without actually paying money. Like the little energy bars and the gems. That's just a classic sign of trouble. Right, maybe this boy. Number 20 is a sturgeon. I think it's the bronze whaler I want. Terra Nil is on Netflix mobile. Oh, that's why that... Yeah, during Ter when I was playing Terra Nil, I saw the Netflix logo on the bottom, and I thought to myself, oh, did Netflix, like, somehow work with them? Because there's these really gorgeous, like... If you go to their Steam store page, there's some really beautiful animated videos of Terra Nil of like, like things being, it's like a concept trailer or whatever, like it could be a, a video game trailer, but I think they should have put it in the, the damn game. Like whenever you finish some of those regions, they're so beautiful. If they would have given you a, um, a cutscene for every time that you beat it, showing like water flowing down a river and... They should have been the game, man. Oh, there we go. Black tip reef shark. I didn't mean to get that, but uh, maybe that's what we're looking for. Oh, that looks like it fits in there. Let's let's go back and put that in there right away. That is H2.
All right, where do we need to go next? Uh, the Morrow? I mean, the uh, Mangrove of Stellar... Of uh, Twisted... Twisted Strands. Such a weird name. Yeah, fishing uh, Baron Sea is actually on the channel. I really would like a multiplayer fishing game. Being able to work with friends on a fishing boat would be sweet. But you know, honestly, because this game was so damn good, I actually want to play fishing Baron Sea. Because that has a little bit more real life fishing tactics to it, where you're following schools of fish and other stuff like that. Figuring out where they're going. Oh, damn, Chad, it doesn't fit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it doesn't. Oh. oh, that's the wrong one, Chad. Oh, there it is. <laughs> damn it. That I control for a little longer. All right, next we need a bronze whaler. And that's from the Morrows as well? Hmm. But then, that leaves one more spot up at the top. Unless... What the hell fish is a 3 by 2 I wish I could sort by species. Oh, it's the baby shark. Do, 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 do. Okay. Chat's saying it's the ghost shark. Okay. Uh, let's do the bronze whaler first. We'll, we'll go back there. Wait, let's make sure we didn't get it. Uh, let's just teleport back there. Yeah, Shark Tetris. How was that? Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, Lord, he coming. jumped right out in front of me, officer. That rock. Rock jumped out in front of me. Err. Ah. Okay, now let's go find the uh, bronze whaler. Probably out there somewhere. Chat says we need a ghost shark. Where the hell is that found? Devil's spine. Number 52. Now we'll drop this off first. 
just to be safe. Yeah, we're zooming. Um, I think we'll just fast travel. Does this change time at all? 2.36. Nope. Instant travel. Not, not even fast travel. That's too slow. This is insta travel. Wait a minute. This one needs abyssal. Which this is. Yes. We're good. Double checking the equipment. Throw the chum bucket before that's how you get. Oh, that's true. I think you gotta be in the region though. But yeah, you're right. If I throw a chum bucket into the area over here. And we'll get it for free. There's got to be one here at the... Uh... Chat, where... Or did I already get it? Is there one of those uh, altars here in the... Um... Devil's Spine? Or did I already get it? I can't remember because the book doesn't keep track of it. Is it 014? Well, that's a... Uh, the second one, okay. The second island in the north. Did I get it already? Oh yeah, that was the one that was so fast. <laughs> oh, that's right, I totally forgot. It was so fast that I got it within... No. No, that was a different one. Wasn't that for the main quest? Because there's those sacrificial art altars here for the main quest. Oh. So I'm getting confused because I can't... We'll go check it at 014 since we're here. Well, actually, we're going to have to come back here anyway for a main story quest. But we're doing a side quest now, so we'll do we'll do that at the same time we're back. When we come back.
There's not one in Devil's Spine? For, uh... A sacrificial upgrade thing? I don't even know what you call it. A corruption quest? Why are the physics so good? Yeah, I know, right? It's really good. Oh. Another message in a bottle. The 1st of June, 1927. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Uh, most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course, but... To my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel... Uh, it is some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was that type <laughs> to do such a thing. Why was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. Oh, I get it. Yeah, we got we got all the altars done that we know of. Apparently there's one at 014. Which I'm heading that way now just to see. And this is one of those ones that's supposed to tell you the future. But that's not what I want at the moment. I guess what I could do is change nets, too. Wait. I can't, because... We need Abyssal for that. There we go. Got him. Okay, now let's go home. This will bring us halfway. No, we don't need it anymore. Now we can go back. So we'll take a left here. That's the port side. be over here. Game is super dope, I agree. Tornado.
There we go, we found it. Got it. You slide the four sharks into the fissures and they slip down out of sight. Moments later you spot something rising towards the surface of the water. A viscera crane. <sighs> a, tr a treacherous device crafted in the deep. It will raise its kindred to the light. Wow. Another cool upgrade, dude. Put that in storage. Alright, we're done here. Okay, so as far as I know... We've got the sinew spindle, two rods, and the crab pot. We got four of these sacrificial upgrades like this. Are there any more in the game? Is the, is, like, is there one at the Devil's Spire? Is there any more than that? Otherwise, I think that's everything. Oh, that's on cooldown. Uh, let's go to the... Yes, there's an encrusted talisman. Oh, is that only the DLC, though? I don't have the DLC. Or where is that one found? Uh, it's 014. It gives you the third flame for that area. And you need three flames. Well, that's the main story quest. But, like, is there any more of those, like, altar upgrades I can do? But I'll go to 014 and, and see. Other than that, like, I think that's marked on the map, isn't it? With the X. But we'll check that out. Wait, we're going, we're going. That's that's not where we should be going. Apparently the altar gives you both? Okay. It must give you that so that way you can kind of like get all the fish quickly for the end of the game. If you're out getting all the types. This is the type of game where it's like kind of Pokemon like, right? Like there's different variants for each fish and you can... You gotta get them all. You gotta catch them all. Super fish. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's go to the trader. And sell whatever we have, and then it's off to 014, and then we can install volcanic equipment too when we get there. Yeah, day 109, wow.
All right, northeast then. We're northeast bound and down, loaded up and trucking. Yeah, I'm doing say, uh, things they say can't be done. How many fish in the game? Uh, well, I think there's like 64 pages of fish. Or like 64 fish plus different versions of them. Or wait. I think it's two per page times 64 pages plus two alterations per fish? So, I, I, honestly, I don't know. 100 plus. A lot. Uh, there's at least one fish in the game, confirmed. Mm. Now. Let's switch. changes to volcanic too. I'm sure I'm going to need something else again though. Yeah, I intend to find all the tablet pieces, yep. So that's what we'll do next. All right, let's wait for morning and then we'll go to 014. Or 014. Uh, let's put the net down. And didn't I have a Raven pod around here? Oh, it's a twisted strand. Yeah, that's right. We'll get it if we need it. Actually, I probably should go get it because I'm sure that's something else we need from this area is more crabs. Or something. There's got to be something we haven't found. I want more upgrade points, though, you know? Fourteen is on the south side of this island, where that thing is going. Is that jewelry? Ooh. Oh, just a ring. I think it'd be cool if this game did what uh, like Resident Evil does, where you have to collect a bunch of stuff, put it together, and then you get more money for it. That'd be cool. I'm not going that way. Sell me out, bro.
Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Eh, I should have brought an explosive. Ah, well. Uh, let's see. Two malformed fish withering under the sun. The lower slab holds two shallow grooves. So any two corrupted fish that are rotting, basically, right? Oh, dude, I hit it at one mile, one mile an hour. I think I'm just going straight out of here. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's alloy. I don't need that. Are they slowing me down? Oh, they actually slow you down. <laughs> nice. That's cool. So those fish really don't... They can't hurt you, but they slow you down, and then the big one will come over and eat you. Mm. Alright, time to find two corruptions. Mm. Also, can I buy just a bomb for you, just in case? And then... Mm. Yeah, it was a big brain play. And then we just go around and see if we can find two corruptions and then let them rot for a day. Twisted Shark. That's one. You think it's the serpentine mackerel? Really? Hmm. So from that description, it describes to you the serpentine mackerel? That seems pretty vague. Local area mackerel that's corrupted, okay. Well.
I don't know why it shows two pages open for Twisted Strand. Anyway. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. There's a, an ability to rot some of the fish. We can wait though. It's all right. So we need Devil Spine Snake Mackerel, which is a coastal fish. We have that installed, that's coastal. And this is two. Seem really addicted to this game? Ah, it's just very satisfying to get a quest and go find what and where you gotta get it. Will this be the last dredge stream? No. We will have to do it again. I guess we could just drive around until we find the corrupted ones. Either A, find a group of them that are corrupted. Oh, actually, we could do the old chum bucket. Why not? Let's make our own deposit. And anything we don't want, we'll just sell. Not so much for that. Oh, there we go. One serpentine mackerel. So we need it to rot, right? After we get two serpentines, they need to be rotting. Is that right? You're looking forward to our next stream? Well, good. I hope you all enjoy. Yeah, we got another stream coming up after this. I'm sure you'll all be there. I will be. Yo, Filthy Franco. Thank you very much for the gifted membership for chat. 
Congrats to all you who have your membership gifting turned on to allow. We need the holy mackerel. Hmm. Tim with the 23 months. Chicken Wang doing chicken things. Faux show. Need one more mackerel. Hi there. Nap time. Might be time for a nap. Mm. It's four twenty AM. Cush breath. Buckets. Then we'll be able to drop those around. See if we can do that. Yeah, it sounds like Godzilla, doesn't it? Okay, we're still getting mackerels, though. Depleted. Oh. Skirt. 
Damn it, we need one more mackerel. Come on. Raptor, would you say that Lovecraftian Tetris fishing simulator would be an accurate description of the game? Mm -hmm. Well, a little business management in there, too. A little tycoon, you know. A little time management. At the beginning of the game, it kind of gives you a couple of minor jobs. Like, oh, hey, there's a special order for this fish, this fish, and this fish. But it kind of teaches you, like, what those... Um, what eventually the altars are going to ask for you. Yeah, right, back to sleep. Fish are really hard to get. Wait, we need to sleep and then... Need to go to the market. Nope. Okay, she'll have them tomorrow. I feel like the chum buckets are just now working out. Maybe we'll just go without him. Just troll. I think the best thing is just going to be to troll around a little bit and see what comes in the net. And then best case scenario, we find a corrupted fishing area. And it's mackerel. Spell, spell, spell. I don't know if the spell actually converts the ones that are uh, corrupted, though. Does it? Okay. I can try it. find some mackerel. Let's go find some mackerel, brother, yeah, mackerel, brother, to the mackerel, yeah, let's find some bread and milk. Got him. Looks like there's some over here, but where? There? Ah. 
Ah, good. I just want the one, thank you. I don't want to be greedy. I didn't, I didn't want to be greedy. late. Alright. We'll go sleep so we can actually see what we're doing. This is probably the hardest place to see because it's like foggy and dark. Alright, we're almost done here. Bum, bum. Okay, let's sell everything. But that. And that. And nap time. I don't know if they're supposed to be rotted or not, so we'll just turn them in, and if it gives it to us, great. If not, then we'll just, like, hold on to them and do something else. Which is fine. So this is the shortcut. I love how the bombs are not really that expensive. They're just, they're kind of cheap. Like 30 bucks. That's nothing. Pay more for two people at, at an Applebee's. When you're here, you're family. That's all I've gotten, but yeah. The rock splits within an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. The encrusted talisman. Ooh. Fishing speed, 375%. Stone tablet surrounded by a tooth of bone. A glimpse of a hook is carved into the center. Oh, damn. Four hours to install that bad boy. There we go. And now we got all the flame. Alright, so now, unfortunately, we can only use that in a net that's a 4x4, four four, but whatever. Actually, you know what I could do? Can I, I, would, I, I probably would get rid of the rods and then just drive around with the uh, trolling thingy. If, if that affects the, the netting speed, that is. Cool. All right, guys, we have much more streams to do today. One more stream to do today, another open-world survival game, and we're going to do that with uh, all the boys now. So uh, join me for our next stream starting right now, and we'll be back for more Dredge tomorrow to explore the remaining quests and see anything else that we haven't wrapped up, and uh, maybe even 100% this one where we go and look for fish that we haven't yet found and make sure we find all the versions of them. shouldn't be too hard. You find them either day or night in four or five different locations should be good so we're gonna go live redirected to a youtube live stream starting right now don't forget to smash the like button if you'd like to see more of this so many people not smashing that like button get it going get a hand in let's go dredge is damn fine so let me know that you love the game and that you love the channel and raptoria show that support it's certainly free to do so so make sure you do as well as subscribing and turning on that notification bell now on to our next stream let's go